Hey guys, there was the announcement that we are going to eventually return to Tarkir. Uh, Collins of Tarkir, Dragons of Tarkir, Fate Reforged. We are eventually going to go back to Tarkir. And this is a new, a, kind of a new philosophy that the magic department has right now. Where we are going to go back to an old plane and then we'll have a new one. Then we'll go back to an old one, then we'll go to a new one, and then we'll go to a old one. I wanted to talk a little bit about this and whether or not have a discussion with you guys in the comments. Is this a good concept? Should we return to the planes? And the reason I feel like we're going back to planes that we've already gone to, and we'll be back to Ravnica sooner again. So it'll be like return to return to Ravnica, right? Or maybe instead it'll be Descension. Return to Descension and then they can make a block out of that. I don't think it's great, but I understand why. The main reason they are going, to, we're going to go back to Ravnica, and then we'll go back to Khans, and then we'll, I mean Tarkir. We'll go back to New Phyrexia, what used to be called Meriden. The reason we're going to do that is because we want con we want the story to continue, and therefore we can make a Magic Gathering movie. Now, if you look at the principles of Magic, if you look at a movie like Twilight or uh, the Hunger Games, obviously it's one setting and the characters are the same. And Magic, you have a bunch of characters, uh, new planeswalkers pop up every single set by definition. Let's see, Gideon and Ob, yeah, Obnix, Obnix is a new planeswalker, and uh, Kiara was a previous planeswalker, but you get new planeswalkers all the time. Nahari will probably maybe be in, in a strat. Hopefully, finger crossed for Nahari. And you have this scenario where the characters are not the same, people are not relating to them, you don't really... Where's Chandra? Well, apparently she's battling Nadrazi. How do we know that? Because I saw a picture. Uh, the story is not cohesive. You have no... I mean, you literally have... Your characters are w able to plane... What? Like, shift planes. Planeswalk, <laughs> of course. Your characters are willing, are able, and often willing to planeswalk to places they've never been before, and team up with other planeswalkers they've never teamed up with before. Like Elspeth has been around a lot of places, um, and then she died, and I'm sure she'll be back eventually. You're dealing with a situation where the character development cannot be expanded on unless they go to the same planes. So if they've always been in Innistrad and they go back to Innistrad, that makes sense for you to see the same people on Innistrad. Um, the same uh, type of horror story, the same... Uh, it allows character development when you don't just have eight different planeswalkers going to different places and no one really knows what's going happening. Like, there's no ability to make a Magic the Gathering movie. Now, why did Magic the Gathering movie is so important and why... They need to develop it more. It's because of the Gem movie. So Gem was a 1980s show, I believe. I I didn't watch it, but I know um, my girlfriend really likes it. Uh, about singers and dancing or something like that. And we were going to see it, but the after two weeks, it was no longer there because it failed that epically. It didn't have a plot. It didn't really like as a cartoon. Gem was apparently like I've been told. Gem was really, really, really good. And I read um, IG, IGN about it as well, and it seemed pretty good. The plot seemed very good. But now they changed the plot into someone who made a song on YouTube, and then became famous. And that was it. <laughs> like, I was like, wow. That's not a great story plot. So if you watch the trailer, you're going to know exactly what... If you watch the trailer and you watch like, an episode, you're going to be like, wow, this is like two different things. So it's called Gem and the Holograms. But there's no holograms. Like, apparently there's a supercomputer. And there's no supercomputer in the trailer, which is a very essential part. So, the Magic the Gathering movie has a very large potential to bomb because the only people who like gem and holograms willing to see it will be people who liked the cartoon. So, someone who's. And I felt that was a little different. I felt like Magic could have marketed to non Magic uh, using like Twilight type of uh, deal romance. But obviously, that's not for everyone. As we have seen, Dungeons & Dragons have done, has done very poorly in the past. So it's not, 
It would not surprise me if they made a Magic the Gathering movie and it flopped. And just like the gem in the holograms because of the fact that no one, even a Magic player, knows very much about these characters. These main characters we're talking about. Jace, Garuk, where's Garuk? Tell me, like, can anyone tell me what he's been doing this whole time? Where's, uh, you know, Doc? And then the problem is you, just like a Bleach episode, you get, like, more characters. Like, every, like, chapter, every book you get, like, five more characters, five more Planeswalkers. And you're like, well, I don't know what happened to the first five Planeswalkers. What's going on? So if you set, if you go back to cons and you go back to uh, Innistrad, you go back to New Phyrexia, formerly known as Meriden, you go back to Ravnica, you go back to all these older places, uh, then you can have character development. And that's primarily why I feel like they are doing 50-50 split. Bye guys.